Welcome back, and in this video I have another interesting shape for you. And just by looking at it, you see we're going to have to use some kind of polar array command here. I think the tough part on this one is going to be just defining these little tabs that are sitting on the outside. So once we create one of them, we should be fine. Alright, so enough of me talking about it, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so some of the first things I'm going to go ahead and do is I will turn off the grid and then I will set the ortho on on this one. Actually, this one I do see one line is set at a 30. I can leave the ortho on and I think I'll do that for now. And if I need to, I will come back and put the polar tracking on. So let's start off by creating a circle, center diameter, click somewhere on your screen, and make that diameter 70. All right? So it should zoom off your screen. Go ahead and hit the Zoom Extents button. Let's go ahead and create our next circle here, which is another circle, center diameter. Placed at the center of this circle, right? So make sure you get the center point to show up. That's one of our running O-snap functions that I'm selecting here, and center is one of my running O-snaps. So when I go ahead and click this center, now I'll type in 100. Zoom out a little bit more. I have to create another one that's going around here, and it's going to be the bigger circle, and it has a diameter of 200. So, circle, center diameter. Once again, touch one of those circles. Left click. Drag it out a little bit just to give yourself a preview, and then type in 200. Okay, so like I was trying to figure out before, is should I turn the polar tracking on, or should I just go ahead and create this thing on the side? And I think I'm just going to create it straight going this direction and then I should be able to rotate it right so I'm going to start off with drawing a line from this center and then I have to make this line go 200 and I also have to make it meet at this line here so I know the radius of this line is 200 so I'll type in 200 and then I'll type in the angle which is given to us as 30 alright hit escape so, this is all I need, and I, I'm sorry, I told you that that was the radius, when actually, that was the diameter. But, anyway, we have everything we need to create this part. So, let's go ahead and put a circle located at this intersection. And it's going to have a radius of 7.5. So, I'll choose a circle, center radius. I'm going to click at this intersection. Once again, intersection is one of my running O-snaps. You can verify that down here at the bottom. But this is going to be 7.5. All right. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and copy this circle up a distance of 15. So let's choose copy. Create your circle here. Enter. Select a base point. Go up. Type in 15. All right. I'll go ahead and connect it with some other lines here. So I'm going to draw a line from that quadrant to this one. And likewise on the inside here. Let's use the trim command. Go ahead and set up your cutting edges. I'm going to select the two outside lines that I just created. Enter. And I'll go ahead and trim off these portions on the inside. All right. So once I hit escape, what I'm going to do is highlight all of this, and I'm using a blue window. So that's one left click on, above it to the left of it, and come down and another left click to the bottom right. Once it is all highlighted, I will select the join command, just to make these all as one. Then I'll use the offset command. And remember that I have a thickness, or the outer radius of my circle is going to be five and I have one on the inside that is seven point five. So it'll be seven point five minus the five is two point five. So that's the distance that I'm gonna need. Then I'll offset this slot to the inside. Alright, so next let's go ahead and create a circle that has a diameter of twenty five. So circle, center diameter. We're gonna place it at this center location. And that distance is twenty five. Let's go ahead and draw a line going straight across from 
this quadrant to this quadrant. Let's use the trim command. This time I'm just going to trim off the portions I don't want, so all of this on the inside here. And then I'll trim off this portion on the outside. So I usually just take away those two. And then select this and delete it. By using the delete button on my keyboard, right? Alright, we almost have this thing done. Let's go ahead and offset this line. And the total distance of this gap is 15. So I'm just going to use offset. I'll type in 7.5 since that's half of 15. I'm going to offset this line down this direction. And I'm going to select the same line again and offset it up this direction. All right. So now we can do a little bit of trimming on this. And we don't actually need this circle anymore. That was just for us to locate it. And I can also get rid of that line. So I'm just going to delete both of those characters. I'm going to use the trim command. And then I'm going to trim off these unwanted portions. So I'm going to trim off that one there and here also going to trim off this portion down here. I'm going to come to the inside here. I'll trim off here and here and the gap in between here. All right, so I'll go to Escape. I'm going to select these lines that I don't want anymore and hit Delete on my keyboard. Let's zoom out. Now we're ready to use the Polar Array function. So let's go to Polar Array. I'm going to select these objects here. Once I hit enter, it's asking me the center of this, so I'm going to go and touch one of those circles and select the center. Now it should create six of them. The one thing I want to make sure that you have turned off is make sure your associativity is not blue. Go ahead and close the array. Use the trim command and trim the gaps between. And once you're done trimming all of that, give the shape a quick look over and I think I have it all right so thank you for watching this one and if you enjoyed this video please consider liking subscribing or even sharing it and once again if there's something that you want to see me create or maybe I did something wrong or you might just have a faster way of doing it please feel free to let me know all right so thank you for watching